Hey physics. Um, I had somebody ask for me to do a video about the gizmo and I went and did like the whole video of the worksheet but then I realized some of you guys might not want to watch the whole worksheet video so this is just like the tutorial of how to do this gizmo. So what you have here is these are your conversion tiles. Here's the problem. Um, you can pick different kinds of conversion problems to do and it's all the same kind of format here. So the way that you're going to do this is you read the problem, so we're looking for, we have kilometers here, and we want to find what the buildings, the Burj Khalifa's height in centimeters is, so I'm going to grab whichever um, block I think is going to work for me, and I'm going to bring it down here, okay? So I, I noticed that when I dragged it down there, this is um, kilometers cancel out, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. That's what I want to happen there. So um, then I can grab this next one, and again, those cancel out just right, and there's my answer right there. So if you, um, for example, I want to show you what happens. You can flip these tiles using this one, and you'll know that you need to flip it if you end up getting crazy units like this, like meters squared or uh, different things like that. Watch what happens when I do this. So then I get like really crazy units if I um, flip it again. So you always as you guys remember, you want to have the unit that you want on the top and the unit that you have on the bottom, okay? So you can play around with this. I mean, it's just as effective, I feel like, to just play around with it as it is to use the worksheet, but if you'd like a more structured approach, the worksheet is a good way to go. Um, so yeah, play around with volume, mass, time, speed, density, random. Some of these get really complex as far as using like um, uh, scientific notation and things like that. So um, do what feels right to you. Use this worksheet if you want a structured approach or just play around with it um, if you if you want to. And this is just a good way to see how these conversion factors work without a whole lot of writing. Okay? Cool, cool.